everyone! Look, I got a coat rack! I was watching WXW What Extenere Wears, and she had a coat rack, and I was like, that is the perfect way to organize my purses, because I was just sticking them in shelves on my closet, and I didn't really like it, because I needed those shelves for, for my shoes. So, I got a coat rack at Hobby Lobby. It was originally $70, but it was 30% off, and then I had an extra 25% off coupon. So, I mean, I think it's cute. It has a little bag attached to the bottom, and I don't feel like going over there and picking it up, so, yeah. Okay, so let me show you what I'm wearing today. I always, in videos, forget to show you guys what I'm wearing. So, today... I'm wearing this dress from Forever 21. It just is really tight and black up at the top, and underneath it has this purple with this black lace that flows over it. It's pretty short, so I have to figure out which type of leggings I'm going to wear with it. I don't really know what kind I want to wear, but I know I have to wear some because in the town I live in, I can't wear this out, but I can wear it in a video. So I paired it with my H&M bow necklace again. I have a bow ring from H&M on. I have two thumb rings from H&M on. These actually aren't supposed to be thumb rings, but when I tried them on, I thought they fit, but I got home and they're so big and they don't fit on any of my fingers except my thumbs. And then I have on this purpley magenta ring that I got from a kiosk in the Atlanta mall. So, I don't know. I think it's really cute. It's like adjustable, so it's one size fits all. Okay, so in my Friday Night Fashions video, I had this makeup look on. And it was requested so many times for me to do this, and I wasn't going to because I use, the eyeshadows I use are Stars Makeup Haven eyeshadows from StarsMakeupHaven.com. And I knew that if I put this video up, I was going to get so many people saying she's promoting their products, she's getting paid to do this. There is something going around saying that I'm getting paid for all the companies that I am talking about. No, I'm not. So I just want to go ahead and clear that up. I almost didn't do this video because I know everyone's going to be like, oh, she was getting paid for to do this. I am going to tell you that I did get the products for free. That's not a secret. If you asked me if I got them for free, I always told you guys yes. So it's not like I've been trying to hide this. I do get the products for free, but in the little email that we write back and forth, I say that I reserve the right to not review the product if I don't want my subscribers to no, or that I have the right to review them in a bad note, but I don't like to do that to companies. So if I get a product I don't like, I don't review it. And I have done that before, and I have shipped it back at my expense. So let's just clear that up right now. I do get the products for free. I'm not getting paid to do these videos. I'm not promoting them so that I get more money. That is not how this works at all. No. Okay. That being said, I'm using four different Stars Makeup Haven eyeshadows. And these are the single ones that come, and you put them in your own palette. And these four go together so well that if you don't feel like getting a lot of Stars Makeup Haven eyeshadows, then you shouldn't get the 28 palette that I have. But you can get these four eyeshadows and get a quad and put these in them. And this can be your everyday school look. Because I think this look is perfect for back to school. Mainly, I would target this towards the high school age group. If you're in college and you want to wear that, that's fine. This is something that I would have worn in 8th grade of middle school. This is something I probably did wear in 8th grade of middle school. But if you're not a middle schooler that wants to wear makeup like this, I am going to do some middle school back to school makeup looks and some high school ones. And obviously the high school go for the college people too. I guess that's all I have to say and let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with Cliché Cosmetics Eye Primer. I have the color Light, and I'm just going to dip my finger in it and spread it all around my eye, all the way up to my eyebrow. Then I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit and put it along my lower lash line, since we'll be putting shadows down there as well. So all of the eyeshadows I'm going to be using today are from Stars Makeup Haven, and they just come like this, just like a MAC shadow would if you depotted it, and you just place it in your palette, but I went ahead and pulled them out so I can show you easier. This first one I'm using is a light yellow gold color, and it's called Mimosa, Mimosa, I'm not really sure. I'll put it in the sidebar. But I'm going to take this color with a Sigma SS239 brush, and I'm just going to get this all over my brush, tap off any excess, and then just pat this into the inner half of your eye. If 
If you'd like, you can get a little bit more. The second color we're going to be taking is called Cougar, and it is the same tone, only it's a little bit deeper. And I'm going to get that on the other side of my brush. Tap off any excess. Ooh, dropped it. And I'm going to place this on the outer half of my eye. I think you can see better this way. I'm really sorry if I totally just messed it up. So we're just going to pat this on the outer half. So if you look really closely, I have a line going down the center of my eye from where the two shadows meet. So I'm going to take an SS224, which looks like this. And this does not have any eyeshadow on it. And I'm just going to blend these two colors together. So that the line just kind of disappears. Next I'm going to take a MAC 222 brush and a matte brown color called Showstopper. It kind of is very taupe, kind of purple, gray, brown, all that stuff. So I'm swirling my 222 in it, tapping off any excess. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to pat it into the outer half of my crease. You can do some circles, some windshield motions if you'd like. Just don't take it in too far. Clean up any edges you have. Now I'm going to take that SS224 again and start blending this out. And as I do, I'm going to drag it in so that it kind of completes the crease, but it's very, very light. It just doesn't look like it abruptly stops. So now I'm going to get a little bit more of that showstopper on my brush. Tap off any excess. Just do the same thing. Take this brush again. And I'm going to draw a little circle on the outer corner of my lid and my crease. Then I'm just going to feather it into my lid. If you're doing these eyes at the same time, it's pretty easy to get them even, but since I completed this eye and now I'm going on to this eye, sometimes they don't come out just right, so I kind of have to play with it. So now with this same brush, I'm going to take my highlight color, which is called Bee's Knees. It's kind of like a vanilla. It has a tiny, tiny bit of shimmer in it, but mostly it's matte, so it's like a satin. I'm just going to tap off that excess and place that right under my brow. Okay, now I'm taking an SS219, which is just a pencil brush, taking some of the showstopper, some of the showstopper, and I'm going to line the outer half of my upper lash line with this. Take a little bit more, and I'm going to line the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. Then I'm going to apply MAC Prep and Prime. This is white, and you put it on under your mascara. So I'm just going to tilt my head back, coat my lashes with this. And I see a lot of people saying that you want to let this dry before you complete and put your mascara on, but I find that I ha hate this product when I let it dry. So I leave it wet and right after I do that I'm going to take my mascara and today I'm using Maybelline's Pulse Perfection. It's like this, it's the vibrating one. So how you use this is see this button right here on the side? You hold that down and it vibrates and you can hear it and you can feel it wiggling your lashes. Okay, then I'm just going to take what's left over on my brush, put it on my bottom lashes. 
Okay, for blush, I'm using MAC Dainty Blush. It's a mineralized blush. It's just a really, really pretty light pink. And I'm using the SS187. I'm just going to swirl my brush in that, tap off any excess, smile to find your apples, and just place this on your cheeks. For lipstick, I'm using Cream Cup from MAC, which actually mine melted. Look at that poor baby. But I still use it anyways. You've just got to be careful. And over that, I put MAC Dazzle Glass in Baby Sparks. That's my look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.